Hello. <coughs> so, I'm going to show you how to enable the trading bot. And I'm going to explain what the trading bot does for TradeX for exchange. To start with, let's assume that you just uh, have bought and installed the TradeX for exchange on your server. So you'll, uh, when you come to the spot trading page, you'll see a screen like this. But these sell orders and these buy orders, all of these list will be empty. You'll have nothing on it. You'll have no sell orders or buy orders from any users. So when it's empty, uh, your new customers, uh, they will not be um, interested, they'll not be encouraged to place an order because there are no existing order to perform trade with. This is uh, natural because you just have installed the exchange and you do not have any users who are um, placing buy orders and sell orders. Think of Binance and KuCoin for example. Uh, they have thousands of uh, clients and uh, each second um, maybe several hundreds of clients are placing buy orders and sell orders. That's what you see on their buy order and sell order books. But since you just installed the exchange and you do not have any users, so you will have no buy order and sell order on your exchange. So how do you resolve this issue? The way to resolve this issue, the way that our exchange have implemented and several of our um, competitors have implemented is this that we use the trading bot what the trading bot does is the trading bot uses an API to get the latest buy orders and sell orders from international market so the trading bot can be uh, configured to place one buy order uh, every second or one sell order every second which means that every second the trading bot will place uh, will hit an API and get uh, the very recent buy order or sell order and place that same order on your exchange. So this is our exchange on our demo site tradexport.org. As you can see the trading bot is working, it's functional and it's placing buy orders and sell orders on the exchange and it's uh, users getting those buy orders and sell orders from the API and those are the orders that you're seeing on this buy sell order book and the buy order book I hope you remember that this red orders this is the sale order book and the green orders this is the buy order book okay now since these are essentially uh, what uh, the real uh, orders that are, <coughs> that are getting placed on international market your exchanges are having the same exact same orders on your exchange as well now let's assume that uh, these buy orders and sell orders uh, at some point they will create transactions with each other which means whenever the buy orders or, or sell orders uh, they are uh, getting in match uh, they are creating transactions and when these transactions happen uh, those transactions um, those transactions are the key because let's assume that a certain amount of Bitcoin was sold at 51,875 USDT at some point at that very moment the price of Bitcoin on your exchange turned to 51,875 USDT you'll see the same price here 51,875 USDT and all the values that you see here are calculated on uh, on the basis of this value as you can see right now another amount of Bitcoin was sold at a price 51,872 USDT uh, which is a price smaller than the previous one that's why uh, it was uh, displayed with a uh, down red arrow uh, as you can see uh, another transaction has occurred which has increased the price and now there is an up arrow okay so uh, these transactions these are the keys every transaction defines uh, what the price of Bitcoin at your exchange will be 
which means that with every transaction uh, the price of uh, that cryptocurrency on your exchange will update and with every transaction all these values you see the 24 hour change the 24 hour high the 24 hour low all these values will change as well and as you may know uh, every single dot and every single uh, candle that you see on the chart is essentially uh, representing a transaction so with every transaction this chart also moves forward <laughs> so like I said uh, these transactions are the key and these transactions uh, is essentially um, are, are the uh, key factor that is keeping your exchange alive so in other words uh, since trading bot is uh, behind all these things so trading bot is the key factor that is keeping your exchange alive because when the trading bot is functional uh, new transactions uh, keep happening and all these values you see they these values keep moving and the chart keeps moving forward as well okay so uh, this is what the trading bot does for you uh, and when uh, your users come to this exchange uh, this spot trading phase they see these buy orders and sell orders uh, they are encouraged to place orders because there are already so many offers that if uh, your users uh, they place orders it will get into transactions instantly or uh, at some point it will uh, definitely get into transactions now uh, let me uh, show you how you can enable the trading bot so this is the exchange front end we'll go to the exchange back end the admin panel so this is the admin panel to enable the trading bot you'll have to go to settings then features so we went to settings and then features then we go to the trading bot all right on this page you can enable or disable the trading bot if you select yes and then click update it will be uh, enabled if you select no and update then it will be disabled as you can see right now the board order place interval has been set to one second which means that the bot will place one order every second so the bot is essentially placing uh, one buy order and one sell order every second now <coughs> this is a general setting which means uh, let's assume that you have uh, 20 coin pairs on your exchange let's go to coin pairs list we go to um, coin management then we go to coin pairs this is the coin pairs list as you can see this exchange has um, exchange has so many coin pairs you'll see uh, BTC Euro USDT JDC Ethereum BTC USDT TRX it has so many coin pairs and <coughs> for each of these coin pairs you can choose whether the bot should, in, should be enabled or disabled for this coin pair right now I can see that the trading bot is enabled for USDT TRX but it is disabled for USDT XYF and it is also disabled for USDT JDC but it is enabled for XYF BTC <coughs> So you can decide for which uh, coin pairs the uh, trading watch should stay enabled. Now there is a catch. Since we did see that from settings and features, then we go to trading bot. We did see that <coughs> the trading bot is placing one order every second. Now this uh, bot is not placing one order for one coin pair. This bot is uh, placing one order for every coin pair let's assume that you have 20 coin pairs on that coin pair list so what this does that this bot is placing one order for each of these coin pairs every second so essentially the bot is placing 20 orders every second 20 orders every second which means that the bot is um, uh, calling the API uh, 20 APIs uh, uh, every second and uh, with each order there are several database calls several actions so with each order the bot is essentially uh, performing all those now uh, if you have let's assume that you have only 12, 12 coin pairs on coin pair list 
let's assume that you have only 12 coin pairs uh, for which the bot trading is enabled that is you may have more coin pairs but for only 12 coin pairs you have enabled the bot this will uh, probably function fine if you uh, if your bot is placing one order per second uh, but what if you have 40 coin pairs uh, in that case what you'll see uh, that if you uh, enable the bot trading for all of those 40 coin pairs this will increase the load on your server the uses of uh, CPU and RAM on your server uh, will be so high that your exchange will become inaccessible uh, will become inaccessible both the admin panel and the exchange front end and even you may not uh, be able to access your server either so what you suggest is that you should keep the bot enabled for no more than 12 coin pairs if your server res uh, resources are uh, only 4 CPU cores and 8 GB RAM if you have 8 GB RAM and 4 CPU cores then you should not keep the bot enabled for 12 coin pairs now let's assume that you want to uh, you, you have uh, 40 coin pairs and you want to enable the bot for all of these 40 coin pairs what you can do is you can increase uh, the server resources to from uh, from 4 CPU cores to 12 CPU cores 12 CPU cores and 32 gigabytes of RAM so either you'll have to increase the uh, server resources or there is another option the other option is you go to bot settings and then you reduce this frequency because right now the bot is uh, is set to place one order every second so in that case you'll have to maybe you'll decide to place 30 which means the bot will place one order every 30 seconds so uh, after every 30 seconds the bot will place one order for every and each and every of your coin pair if you have 30 coin pairs or if you have 40 coin pairs the bot will place one order for each of those coin pairs but it will place those orders only once every 30 seconds this will also work uh, if you have uh, a large number of coin pairs you must either decrease this bot interval frequency or you must increase the server resources now <coughs> Uh, this setting uh, uh, is for the exchanges that have um, EVM. The exchanges that have EVM, you'll find coin pairs here. This is for the exchanges that have EVM, you'll find the coin pairs here. You go to coin management and you go to coin pairs, you'll find the coin pairs here. Now, what happens if you do not have uh, the EVM add on? If you have only the exchange. In that case, you'll find that on coin coin list you'll click coin and then you click coin uh, pairs you, you click coin and then you click coin coin pairs and then you find the coin pairs and you'll be able to enable or disable the coin pairs from here and uh, for both the exchanges that have uh, EVM and that do not have EVM uh, for both the trading bot settings will remain right here as well anyway so this is how the trading bot works now let me tell you let me tell you why uh, 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 what happens when your user places orders <coughs> so let's assume that your user one of your user comes to your exchange and deposits uh, he deposits maybe he's depositing 10 uh, litecoin to your exchange he deposited 10 litecoin to your exchange then he comes to this uh, spot trading page um, and as you may know you need either a, as the admin of the exchange you need either a coin payment account or a bitgo account um, to hold the deposits uh, made by the users so when your user has deposited uh, 10 litecoin that litecoin is instantly uh, uh, get added get added to your coin payment account admins coin payment account so you'll see that uh, that 10 litecoin uh, at your coin payment account 
uh, but uh, your customer your user will see that he has the 10 litecoin balance on this exchange on your exchange okay so he comes to the spot trade phrase uh, spot trade page and he places an order to sell his 10 litecoins he places an order, uh, order and maybe he instantly uh, gets to sell that uh, 10 litecoin and may maybe he has received uh, 700 USDT uh, in exchange of those Litecoins 700 USDT uh, now let me tell you one more thing this uh, trading bot uh, is placing orders on behalf of the admin which means that uh, when your users uh, is come us users are coming to this tr uh, spot trading page and they're placing orders and those orders get in transactions uh, li like uh, the example I just said your user has come to this spot trading page and has placed an order of to sell his 10 litecoin and with the orders that are placed by the trading bot that 10 litecoin was uh, did get into a transaction and uh, that user has received uh, 700 um, Litecoin um, uh, sorry 700 USDT 700 USDT on his actions so uh, uh, how it does uh, how it works is that uh, the, um, your user is essentially uh, performing trading with you since he is performing trading with the trading bot he is performing trading with uh, the admin uh, that is you so uh, he goes to uh, goes ahead and he wants to do uh, withdraw that 700 USDT when he goes uh, to uh, the withdraw page uh, he will uh, move uh, forward and attempt to withdraw that withdrawal request will go to the admin admin panel you as the admin you will have to accept that withdrawal request uh, now if you have uh, that 700 uh, USDT on your um, uh, if you have the 700 USD on your coin payment account you'll be able to accept that withdrawal and that user will uh, be able to uh, mm, uh, get that uh, 700 USDT to his external wallet withdrawn to his external wallet <coughs> now uh, the way it works as you can see that when he deposited 10 litecoin you, you received that 10 litecoin at your coin payment accounts uh, um, litecoin wallet instantly but when uh, when he is uh, he has performed trades and he is trying to withdraw uh, USDT, uh, you as the admin, you must also have USDT on your coin payment account as well, because he is trying to withdraw USDT. Now mm, uh, to do that, uh, if you have USDT balance at your coin payment account, you'll be able to uh, accept that withdrawal. If you do not, uh, you'll have to deposit that uh, 700 USDT uh, directly to your coin payment wallet, and then. Mm, uh, you'll be able to allow him to draw so you as the admin you are essentially allowing all these uh, withdrawals or deposits or everything so now what you do is uh, why as the admin why do you uh, do this um, why do you uh, allow this because uh, of the trade fees and, and the withdrawal fees uh, because uh, as the admin will be able to impose trade fees and withdrawal fees as well so uh, if uh, let's assume that a total of uh, 10 USDT was calculated as the trade fee and withdrawal fee so in that case uh, even if that user is trying to withdraw uh, uh, 700 USDT he will receive only uh, 690 USDT and you as the admin you will receive that 10 USDT as the commission okay so this is how the trading bot works and this is why we use the trading bot or we have created the trading bot uh, and so that's it <coughs>